Hi. Last year, on October 29th, my father, Michael D. McCarthy, suffered a cardiac incident, and he never regained consciousness. He was in the Port Huron Hospital for five days before he died. My sister and her husband flew home from Denver, and my brother flew home from Austin. Together with them, plus my mother, my husband and our two sons, and my father's sister and her husband, we sat with my father in the hospital until he died on November 2nd. During the first few days, we took turns going back and forth to Lexington and Port Sanilac to sleep. My 76-year-old aunt, however, lives across the state, doesn't drive at night, and her husband is blind. So it was important that we find some place near the hospital for them to stay. My mother remembered reading about the Hunter House in a newspaper article and suggested they go there. The next day, my Aunt Mikey and Uncle Don came back and just raved about the wonderful experience they had and the mission of the Hunter House. After four days, my dad was removed from life support. Not wanting him to be alone for even a second, our family decided to start taking shifts. Someone would always be with my father while others were resting at the Hunter House. Those of you who have been guests of the Hunter House already know how welcome and comforted you feel when you're there. But if you haven't experienced it, imagine yourself in my family's shoes. We'd already been sitting with my father for four days, and there was to be no happy ending for us. My dad wasn't going to recover. We were just waiting for him to pass, and this was very traumatic for my family. So by the time we arrived at the Hunter House, we were physically and emotionally exhausted. But here we found comfortable beds with crisp, clean sheets, a change of socks and underwear, a shower. We got a courtesy bag that had toothbrush and toothpaste, deodorant, everything you need when you can't get home at night. Being able to just lay our heads down and rest while being only steps away from my father gave us indescribable comfort. Once my father passed, we began the busy work of planning a funeral, and we did what my family always does, and we rocked it out. Because of our extremely positive experience at the Hunter House, we unanimously agreed to request donations for this wonderful organization in my dad's name. We printed flyers with donation information and made them available through email, on Facebook, at the funeral home, and the funeral mass. My brother even stood up at the funeral luncheon and talked about our Hunter House experience and asked again that donations be made there. This mission, formed out of our grief, had suddenly become a bright spot in a very dark time. I'm proud to tell you that so far, over $2,300 in donations have been made to the Hunter House in the name of my father, Michael D. McCarthy. But our mission is far from over. Twice a month, the company I own holds a karma yoga class. Although the class is free to the community, we accept and encourage donations for the different charities that we support. In July, August, and September this year, our charity will be the Hunter House. And we'll continue to raise money for them this way every year. In addition, my family has a long-standing tradition of adopting a needy family each Christmas. We typically raise in excess of $1,000, and this year, our needy family will be the Hunter House. Oh. And my mother just recently told me that she and one of her sisters are going to start volunteering with the Hunter House soon. My dad was a wonderful husband and father. He was also funny as hell. He loved to laugh and make other people laugh. After he passed, a dear friend told me that she was sure he had all the angels in heaven cracking up. His obituary read, in part, he was a man of great faith and humor and the heart and soul and moral compass of our lives. My father was much loved. So once the donations started coming in, we weren't at all surprised by the level of generosity, but we were very overwhelmed by it. My dad would be proud to know that so much good is being done in his name. 
our relationship with the Hunter House has been very healing for us. And we take great solace and pride in what we've been able to accomplish in my dad's name. In other words, we've become ambassadors for the Hunter House. I invite you to experience the same satisfaction we have. Let's make certain that the Hunter House is able to continue their very important mission for many years to come. Let's tell everyone we know about the great work we do. And please, let's all gener donate generously tonight. In closing, I'd like to thank Tracy, Jeff, and their family for this beautiful mission that came out of their own sorrow and for the kindness and compassion they showed to my family. A Bible verse stenciled on one of the Hunter House walls reads, Be still and know that I am God. The services the Hunter House so generously provided enabled my family to be still and find some peace during a very troubled time. I love and miss you, Daddy, and I'm proud that part of your legacy will be to provide comfort for others through the Hunter House.